Oh, that was a cold one last night. Beautiful, beautiful little Dalesford. But damn, that's cold. And the mist coming off the lawn as it warms up. Eerily beautiful. All right, just a tad excited. So I was gonna head across to the Grampians, sort of straight away, chasing the hot weather. I can't stand this cold for a second longer. And, um, but I always floated the idea of catching up with um, Marky Mark's sister Deb and her husband Alan, who is a mad keen bike nut. They live in Torquay, which is a bit too close to Melbourne for me. But um, just had a look at the map, it's only 100 k's away. And um, the threat of corona at this point in time seems to have kept its ugly head under control. So I'm going to scoot down to Torquay, see Alan and Deb, and then gun it to the Grampians and start my South Australian, heading for the South Australian border. The adventure from there. So one last night in a relatively big town, close to the big smoke, and I am out of here. Oh my God, I can't wait for the hot weather. Hot weather, or at least warmer weather. Yay, and I remembered to clean my visor today. <laughs> Don't you hate that when you take off, you've done everything perfect, and it's like, shit, didn't clean the visor, and by that time, you're already moving. <laughs> Yay, dirt straight away. work but when you come around a bend sometimes what it does it gets them moving and they'll be like hopping away from the sound that's coming they come around a bend and then sort of hop into their path but yeah he just came straight out the bracken oh lucky I stayed upright poor little bugger so that's a first on this journey poor thing minutes to 11 it's well after real clock but just goes to show any time through here. Heaps! And it's bloody beautiful. Cold, but beautiful. Oh, my little chicken bones are so cold. Ah. Oh well, it's only temporary. Oh look, there's a patch of sun. Quick!
Okay, so keep heading south. Right, Ballarat for breakfast it is. Well, brunch. Well that was great, didn't have to go into Ballarat, pulled into Ballon, had the worst coffee on the journey so far, <laughs> but the frittata was great. So I'm going to go to Bacchus Marsh, where Marky Mark was born, and then keep weaving my way down through the forest trails to Torquay, to Alan and Deb, and I apologise in advance Deb for all the bike talk. <laughs> Brisbane Rangers Reeds Road. I've also got maximum feels for my hands. That's how it's better. Okay, carry on through the Brisbane Rangers.
that boys they're beautiful no people they're not grass trees because it's not set with a fence it's a beautiful tree an absolute beautiful tree well it's gone freaking mad So this one wiggly winds all the way down the mountain. Wiggle, 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 wiggle. Windy, 
windy. Awesome day's ride. That was a great trail. So I can either keep going down the highway straight to Geelong and cut into Torquay, but taking these back roads through the mountains, no, nah, gonna keep doing it. <laughs> so up here to the right, another one. That'll take me all the way down, and then I'll just sort of look at the map again, and just that's where I need to go, Torquay. So I'll keep gunning it through these mountains. Freaking love it. That was way too much traffic on these roads. Way too much. This one. This one. This it? Yep, that's it. Clark's Road. So no rain, just cloud. Oh look, we can do skids. <laughs> You've got to do all this now while you're still a bit young and tough because when you get old and you get all arthritic and turn into a snowflake that'll be a different ball game that's when i'll buy a full drive and do it all again <laughs> oh dear all right carry on <laughs> oh that's better much better. Up on the gravel. Motorcycle specialists. Oh, Eric, thinking you're BSA, mate. <laughs> oh, good to get on the saddle. Hi, hey, Dal. <laughs> good to meet you. I know. Oh, mate, I was, I was almost going to keep going. This bloody cold weather, I've had a guts full of it. Oh, my little chicken bones have just been in the cold too long. Oh, I need to go for a roasting somewhere. <laughs> Head out to the desert. Yeah, cool.
Okay, so can't get Deb on camera because she's camera shy, but this is Mark's sister. And uh, all right, I've had my shower, I've got no makeup. Um, but um, Deb, so she's as artistic as her brother, but in a different way. Have a look at this, people. She spins her own yarn. Alpaca, wool. She is a living day, like wool making. This is how it starts out. That's how it starts out. And this is a one ply yarn and now she's gonna join two together to make a two ply and then wait for it. So all the surfies here get her to make beanies and she makes jumps. Look at these. A shawl, this jumper, that jumper, this jumper. This is alpaca hand spun just from alpaca wool. So she spun the wool and then turned it into a neck wrap. And honestly, if you could feel this in the video, oh my God, that's um, that one might just disappear. <laughs> and these, like, look at the patterns and the intricacy. Oh, if you could just feel how soft these are. And here we go. Look, doesn't finish there. Look at these beanies. Look at these beanies. Oh my God. She's a clever girl. I love shit like this. Mate, that's what I'm going to do when I retire and my knees are too stuffed to ride bikes. I'm going to turn into a Nana Nunu. And she even made her own labels. Where did she put it on this one over here? It's called... Look at that. How clever. Talkie Nana. <laughs> what a cracker. Oh, clever girl. Art runs in the family, Mark. This is freaking gold. You didn't tell me about this. I've got to place my order three months ago and it be done by now. <laughs> Bugger. I'm just going to have to hijack one of her personal items. <laughs>